is up everyone? It is Sunday, um, October 16th and I just woke up. It's around noon time. I am currently drinking ginger lemon brown sugar tea. My throat is killing me. Just overall, my body is exhausted. I went out on Saturday and we went to the club and I just don't have the same kind of energy that I used to like last year. I just think I'm getting old. I used to have so much energy and I used to just party like crazy. Last year, I would club like every weekend back to back and stay until like 3, 4 in the morning and then just wake up and do it all over again the next day while still doing stuff in the daytime. But now it's like I stay out until like 1, 2 a.m. and I have my body needs to recover for like two full days. I wanted to sit down and talk to you guys, kind of take Sunday as a rest day and just reset and recover. I really liked my last video where I went indoor fishing. I really liked the cooking portion. So I think this time I'm gonna make this YouTube video about just going out, cooking a simple meal, and then having a mukbang and talking to you guys about what I've been up to recently and how Taiwan life has been going. I found this recipe on Instagram. It's the kimchi garlic noodles um, from Tui the Bay. She's Ricky Shuck's girlfriend and she's a chef and she's Vietnamese and she's so cool and I really love watching her cooking videos on Instagram and she also makes TikTok videos. I saw her recipe and I realized that I have like almost every ingredient that she listed because I made the shrimp scampi last time. I think that this time I'm gonna attempt this because I have some leftover ingredients. I love kimchi, like it's like one of my favorite foods. Excuse my bare face, I had a facial the other day and I just want my skin to be natural and breathe and I don't really care about my acne anymore. I used to feel so insecure and self-conscious of filming myself with such bad acne but you know what? This is real life. This is what I look like and if you got a problem, then you suck. Let's go to the grocery store. grocery shopping. These are all the ingredients that I'm gonna need for my kimchi garlic noodles. It's got pork belly, gochujang, mozzarella cheese, noodles, garlic. I'm also gonna fry up an egg. Green onion, but leftover butter from the shrimp scampi I made, uh, leftover kimchi that I have, olive oil, and oyster sauce. I forgot I also have soy sauce. It also adds chili flakes, but I'm not a big fan of like hot spicy flavor and I'm also feel like I'm getting a little sick. My throat kind of has been sore all day and I just don't want to make it too spicy because it already has kimchi and gochujang. <music> What's there to say? There's nothing but space in between you and I It's okay that we change But it feels kinda strange that you're not in my life You're the only one that saves me when I'm alone You're the only love that I've ever known But we turn into a flower that never grows I was hiding like the moon I should have told you that I loved you one more time 
Alright guys, finally done making my kimchi garlic noodles. It looks so good and this took actually the entire afternoon to make. I left at like 1, 2 to go to the grocery store and then I buy all the ingredients and I'm filming, prepping and now I'm finally here and I haven't eaten all day so I'm really excited to try this. I garnished it with um, green onions and I had an egg on the side. I'm gonna get a little bit of the pork up in here. You can taste the gochujang and the garlic and the oyster sauce and just all at once. And the butter was a good choice and the cheese kind of just brings it all together. So I told myself I would film a mukbang while I eat this for you guys because I haven't done that in a very long time. Dude, this is so good. I just want to eat this. Yeah, I promised myself I would just catch up and let you guys know what I've been up to these past few weeks after I came out of quarantine. So overall, life in Taiwan has been pretty great. I feel like I can't complain much because I know that in other parts of the world right now, it's definitely not as regular as what it's like here. So people in Taiwan still wear masks outdoors no matter what. Even in the subway, it's also mandated for you to wear masks. So it's not like coronavirus precautions aren't being dismissed at all. They're still doing a really great job in terms of regulating it and keeping everyone in check. <clears throat> Everywhere you go for the stores or you're going somewhere, there's always a security guard that checks your temperature and makes you sanitize your hands. And there's some places where you have to wear a mask indoors. And honestly, it's not bad at all. Like I've gotten so used to wearing a mask outdoors that it's not a nuisance to do so. I see a lot of people who don't wear masks and a lot of people who do. It's kind of up to you and no one's judging you if you wear one, if you don't wear one. This is my first time living in Taiwan for such an extended period of time alone. So I feel like my experience is quite different. I think there's also things that you learn when you're living alone that a lot of people don't experience through just doing a program through with other friends or are growing up here. I do think it gets lonely a little bit sometimes, but you kind of have to push yourself more to get out of your comfort zone and find events to go to or people to meet up with. But that's also, I think, the thrill of the experience. And I think when you look back in hindsight, you'll see how much you grow as a person and how much you just learn to be more independent because I'm currently living alone in an apartment and I, don't, I do have extended family here, so I'm very grateful for that. I think there are situations where I really would have had no idea um, on how to handle them. I had to renew my Taiwanese ID and go make an appointment at the clinic. Just fill out a lot of forms that I don't think I would have understood because my Chinese is so bad. After I got out of quarantine, I just went really loose for like a week or two because my internship hadn't started yet and I just had a lot of free time, so I kind of went crazy and just went out every day and hung out with my friends and just like did whatever I wanted. But this past weekend, I've been having this realization that I can't just do whatever I want every day. Like I need some structure in my schedule and just being productive overall. I just really want to get back into shape because I used to work out literally every day during quarantine because I had nothing else to do and I got really into fitness. Seeing how your body changes and transforms over time is such a cool experience and feeling. Um, but yeah, I went crazy eating in Taiwan that everything is so cheap and it's so good. Like, you really don't ever have to cook. And actually, honestly, the cost of cooking is more than going out and buying outside food. It's a struggle to lose weight here. I think that it's really important to take care of your body. I just prioritize fitness a lot more than I used to. I used to just go ham on dance classes, but I'm finding that that's not great for your body and it doesn't help you in the long run. What's gonna help you is stretching and being very diligent in keeping track of your fitness and your weight and your diet and overall your well-being. And you can't really do those things if you're not healthy, you know? So 
I've been just thinking a lot about that recently. Yeah, so I want to talk about the cultural differences I've been experiencing here. I think I'm so used to being from New York where people just literally don't give a crap about what other people think and you could be as obnoxious or weird or crazy on the street and no one will even bat an eye towards you but here, it's like I take out my camera outside and I start filming myself people look at me like I have five heads I'm starting to get used to it though like almost every single person I talk to is like they hear that I have an accent and then they're like, they automatically know I'm like not from here but I kind of accepted that I'm just seen as like a foreigner here I definitely had like a few days where I was just confused about my identity and I was like, they view me as American but I still considered myself Taiwanese but then when I'm in America, I'm considered like not fully American but I am and yeah, it was a weird time but I'm sure a lot of people out there can relate to what I'm talking about I'm done with my pasta let me know what you guys want to see because I actually had a lot of fun filming that fishing, biking video and the reason why I made it is because my friends Sarah and Cynthia had made a whole itinerary for me to follow and I did it because I thought it'd be really fun and if anyone has any ideas, I would love to follow or do that same thing again but for anything different that you guys want to see me explore in Taiwan I've been mainly staying a lot in Taipei because I've been just really busy um, doing my internship. That sucks a lot of energy out of me, so on my off days, I just don't want to go anywhere too far. And Taipei is so small, but there's still so much to do in the city area. I'm gonna go edit now. Alright, bye guys.